Hello everybody, Gene here uh, with another tutorial for our video synthesizer, the Recursion Studio. So the basic idea behind this tutorial is that uh, I'm going to explain some fundamental concepts like modules and instruments. So uh, modules are a little difficult to explain. If you're familiar with like guitar pedals or Eurorack modules, you can more or less think of a module on the synth as something like that. They're a little black box which takes in inputs and has controls and outputs something. Sometimes it's video signals, sometimes it's just waveforms, sometimes a module is an effect. Uh, the basic idea is that they are the building blocks of the synthesizer though. So very similar to the module concept is the instrument concept. An instrument is a predefined network of modules of which you have some but not completely arbitrary control. So on our synthesizer, it's definitely designed around module networks, but you can't arbitrarily remap the modules. You can, however, swap out modules of modules, uh, modules with a module of a similar type. So right now I'm gonna swap out the module that's generating this red border with a module that's using an image to generate that border. The way you get in and modify the module network is in the create page, which I'm not gonna get into in this video, but in order to explain a little bit about what's actually going on in the module network, I'm gonna dive in here maybe occasionally. So instruments are predefined module networks that you have control over. Uh, there are currently five instruments on the synth, although we are working on more. The major one is this recursive video feedback simulation, which is definitely the namesake of the synth and what the most engineering effort has gone into. Um, this instrument has, I think about 40 modules in its network. I think there's about 30 of them that you can control. And there are about a hundred numerical parameters all scattered throughout this network. So when you save a preset, you're basically saving an entire snapshot of this module network. And again, you dive into the create page and you can actually get in here and actually figure out what the module network are and go in there and actually do the modifications. As well as this video feedback instrument, we have another instrument right here, which is called interference, which is a wave simulation or it's a wave interference simulator. Uh, so the idea is that there are plane waves going through space and you control the waveform and the way they interfere and they add up or subtract either constructively or destructively interfere. And you have control over it like you would over all the other instruments. This instrument has maybe 20 to 30 modules of which about 50% of those can be changed or maybe 75 somewhere around there. Uh, you can change the color, can change the waveforms, all kinds of stuff. And similarly, you go into the create mode to actually dive in there and do that. The next instrument is fairly new. It's called Wavy Boy. It is a 3D oscilloscope. This is new since release. And the general idea is that it's kind of a proof of concept to show that we can actually do cool three-dimensional stuff on the synth. Uh, which is going to be pretty useful for the future. But it's basically t generating a waveform and rendering it in space. It's, it's like a really sophisticated version of the Windows pipe screen, screensaver from the 90s. There's also an actual conventional oscilloscope. I don't have any CV stuff plugged in right now, but this is basically a CRT phosphor decay simulation. It's, it's pretty cool and it updates to something like 10 kilohertz, so it's actually fairly responsive. Then we also have this CAT instrument. Uh, which, as of the creation of this video, is still a work in progress. The basic idea is this is going to be where the create tutorials are going to be kind of focused on. Uh, right now, you can't really get in there and do much, and all the controls are deactivated because the tutorials are going to show you how to map all the controls and all that stuff. But those are the instruments. Uh, something to know, you can go into the library and basically filter which instruments you want to see in the library. So this is all the Wavy Boy presets. We can show everything except the major instrument presets. So now we only have snapshots of the fractal instrument. So that's the general idea. Uh, this starts to get into some of the more advanced features of the synth, uh, which I'm not going to cover right here. But it's worth starting to wrap your head around what modules and instruments are if you want to actually start operating the synth in some, in some detail with some level of control. 
All right, stay tuned for the next video, which will cover basics of peripheral mapping, like plugging MIDI controllers in and video cameras in and stuff like that.